G'day and welcome to part B of using Bezier curves to make a logo. Now we finished part A with adding colour to our lightning bolt and now we're going to make the circle. So make sure you're in object mode, deselect your lightning bolt, shift A, go to curves and circle. Now press S and scale your circle out so that it's approximately the same size as the outer width of our circle. You'll notice it isn't exactly round. So once you've got the two edges along the x-axis the same, then scale it along the y-axis only to pull in the upper and lower edges of the circle. If need be, hit G and move it around to position it exactly. Now shift A curves at another circle and tab into edit mode. We're going to pull the lower vertices right down to the very corner of each side and pick the bottom handle and push it all the way up so it's level with the vertice. This will give us a nice tight corner. Do the same with the other side. And then move the handles around to get a nice curve. Next, select each of the corner vertices and press H to delete them. Then shift A, circle and do the same again. Now go to the Curves Object Data and select 2D. If you get the same result as I did, it's because we didn't add the two circles while in edit mode. So they're not joined with the first circle. So go back into Object Mode, select our three circles and Control J to join them as one. Now when you go into 2D mode, you can see we've got our face. Now go to extrude and I extruded this one 0.1. Now go to the materials tab, new and make it red. Next I want to add my bevel. I ended up going with 0 0.075 with a resolution of 4 and an offset of 0 0.05. Next we're going to go into a side view so we can see what we're doing. We're going to select our lightning bolt and we're going to go to object and at the very top is convert to 
mesh from curve and now we can edit our uh, lightning bolt I want to widen the top of our lightning bolt so the top sits on the outsides of our red circle and thin up the bottom part of our lightning bolt so that the bottom and middle sit inside the red circle Make sure you're in edit mode, be the box select and select the top part of your lightning bolt. Then press R to rotate and I think I rotated it point, um, sorry, 2.5. And then did the same again with the bottom part of my lightning bolt. Except this time I would have rotated it minus 2.5. And now it's in the shape of a wedge. Now I want to thicken it up by scaling it, S for scale and Z for along the Z axis and widen it up so that the top is wider than our red circle and the rest stays inside of the red circle. And there's our end result. Now I want to convert the circle into a mesh object as well. So go to object, to the top, convert to mesh from curve. Now I can select both the circle and the lightning bolt, control J and make them a single object. And there you go. It looks the same as our logo. And of course you can make the individual parts any colour you want now. Just go to the material, if you select the yellow, it'll select the yellow lightning bolt. If you select the red, it'll select the red circle. Now on the left hand side in the object tools click smooth and go to the right hand side to modifiers add a subsurface, subdivision surface modifier and I think I only set it to 2 and that just about finishes our logo there it is, finished product. Now of course you can add whatever colours or effects you want. Okay, thanks for watching. And next I'll do a very quick tutorial on how to make the Wiki Commons logo, which you'll see at the very end of this video. Once again, thanks for watching.